Every single night I clean this place up. I make sure that before I go to bed, everything's clean, it looks good, so that when I wake up in the morning, I'm not bombarded by, well, the way this place looks. So I'm gonna show you all the before of cleaning this apartment and the end of cleaning this apartment, all with an infant. Let's go. I get home or every day whatever my house looks a mess and I want to show you guys my routine for every evening just about every evening of getting this place back to normal hi little friend how are you look at his little feet all right so for those of you that don't know I'm gonna run down this room really 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 quickly because I've talked to this talk about this quite a few times I moved into this place even though it was really small because my last place I had a Really nice two bedroom, it was very good size. The bedrooms were huge. And I was there for six months, okay? Six months. But the woman underneath of me didn't like any walking around, legitimately any walking around, no noise, no music, no TV, nothing. So she was causing issues. And I decided along with social workers, we were all just like, just get out of there. It's just gonna cause you issues. It's gonna cause issues with placements wasn't really worth it at all so i was not happy about this i was not happy because i was i moved in this place i felt like it was kind of a step up it felt really good i take pride in my place but i knew that it was time to leave so i came here to this place and when you when you see the place like initially you're like holy crap this place is really small i think it's like 350 square feet gotta love los angeles living um, and, but then you get your stuff in, you're like, okay, this can work. And especially when your child is like not moving, but then your child starts moving and then you get, well, you get what I've shown you. <laughs> so, um, we're going to go through this today, tonight. It's, uh, let's see, 725, I mean, 720. And I'm just going to like show you guys before and after, because the way it looks is, how it ends up getting through the day. And look, look, I'm not perfect. My house doesn't always look spotless, but I do take time and pick everything up. His toys get picked up every night because I can't, I really can't handle it. Um, the, my, my arch nemesis is the sink right there. I hate dishes. I hate doing dishes. I don't like using dishes. I don't like the kitchen. Don't enjoy cooking. I don't enjoy any of that stuff, um, but I gotta do it all. So, and I don't have a dishwasher. Really, if I had to go with dishwasher or laundry, I would pick washer dryer any day because I don't know. I just, I would pick it any day. Um, but I also hate doing dishes. Let's get moving. Awesome bathroom. I love this, this bathroom. I love my shower. It's huge. And we got the bedroom over here, right? His crib. You know why? Why? Because I started cleaning up a little bit need some space put this in here this usually i just leave this in here nice and neat because it's with his stuff um look at this fiddle fig y'all i got this thing for free it was like that big it's it's a little taller but it's leaning right now because i bought this steak to put in there and i'm gonna straighten it all out um but it's it's a mess like this is what happens this is literally like maybe two days worth of craziness I hate it all. I hate cleaning. I just want to get like a... I just want a maid. I don't like the word maid. I just want like a house cleaner. <laughs> but that's the other thing. Then I see like, I was looking at this, this, uh, I don't know. It was some ad on Facebook and it was like, look, get your house clean, $19. But then you have people coming in your house and they got to clean it. And what am I going to do? Just like put my feet up and watch TV while they're like vacuuming underneath me that seems weird and awkward and like i don't want i don't want to make someone do that but i don't pay them so then i want to leave my house and just be like because i don't want to feel awkward but then you're leaving these ran randos in your house i gotta clean
you all these toys to play with. He's dying to look at that camera. <laughs> you can't. I'm sorry. So sometimes, sometimes I will put him in the uh, high chair and let him watch Miss Rachel uh, so that I can have, you know, some time to clean or even make food. Um, I do not do the whole TV thing. So I only do this like twice a week. The only thing he ever watches is Miss Rachel. And the reason for that is because it's a real human on TV. He doesn't know the difference. And she doesn't have a lot of flashing images. You know, she sits on on objects for a long time. The thing with like Coco Melon, which I cannot stand, and some of these other shows is, you know, I guess there's been studies and you hear things. Um, someone told me once that it's teaching the kids short extent, short attention spans because of that it's i guess it contributes to behavior issues and things like that but they said watch coco melon and count every three seconds every three seconds the screen changes and i did it and i was like yeah we're never doing this again so literally the only thing you ever watch is, is miss rachel she does a lot of things with learning words animals shapes things like that so I'm gonna let him do that and I'm going to clean. Also, while I'm doing all of this, since I have him focused, um, I'm gonna go back to these beans. I, so I've made some, I was making black beans and so I was letting them soak. They've been soaking since, I don't know, really early this morning. So it's this, since he's preoccupied, is a good time to like go back to this. Um, they're not horrible. So I'm gonna let them do that, do their thing, uh, and then put this on a super low, low, low heat. And I like to, I like to do beans and rice often because it's so easy. Um, and then I'll season those. And I've got like beans for half the week at least. Um, it's just easy. It's just. A real simple way to get um, to get some stuff taken care of. One thing I will say about that is it requires so many seasonings. You gotta season, 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 season. I'm not at where my mom was at, or not was, where my mom is at with beans, but um, She's the bomb with it, so I don't, you know. There's some things we'll never do as good as our parents, but try your best. Ooh. One thing I will say is there's a lot of foods that my mom made that I never learned. Man, you don't want to really lose that stuff, so I do ask her sometimes, like, how do you do this? How do you do that? Um, I guess I should do more foods with her when I go home, um, because she could teach me how to do certain things, but I don't get to go home much because it's so expensive to fly to Maryland. Um, uh, it can be like $600 a ticket sometimes round trip. So when I'm there, it's just like so much catching up and stuff to do that we kind of just eat whatever. Sometimes sometimes she'll make like some real bomb food, um, which is, oh, I love it. But you know, it's better to just like catch up. Okay. Low heat. Stir that up. I'm not gonna lie, I'm debating putting some Old Bay seasoning in this. Because if you're from Maryland, literally Old Bay can go on anything. 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 
So I'll let, I'll see how this does. I'm gonna you, I'm gonna end up adding so many more seasonings, but um, see how this does in about an hour, and if necessary, <laughs> I'm gonna put some old bay. Old bay, the seasoning to life. I'm patenting that. You all y'all heard it here first. Old bay, the seasoning to life. I got these this play-doh for him. I'm trying to get him to like. Just more sensory things. I know that that's important. This was about a week ago I tried it with him. I don't I don't know how he really liked it, but I also think he just didn't know what to do with it. I see them use bubbles sometimes when, um, when they're working with him, the therapist and stuff. So I'm gonna also get some bubbles. But he's doing really, really great, really good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch some true crime. Guys, you gotta see this. I've probably shown you all this in the past, but like, look at my, this is my Discovery Plus. Who the bleep did I marry? We got House Hunters, which I hardly ever watch. Exposed Naked Crimes, hilarious. Road Rage, kind of boring. I don't watch Bad Cop, Good Cop anymore. But like, Nightmare Next Door, The Killer Speaks, Hostage 911, Diabolical, that one's good. Betrayed, that's all right. Um, caught in the net, that's good. Evil Lives Here, one of the best. Murder d Does Murder Sleep, pretty good. They don't make much anymore. Devil in Siberia, very good. Hardly put out episodes anymore. Um, See No Evil, that is my first true crime show I obsessed over, still love it. You know, so many good shows, all true crime. People love true crime. 90 Day Fiance, gotta have it, gotta love it. Generation Drag was kind of weird. Wondering if they're gonna put a second season out. Um, Evil Lives Here, stunning show. Love Darcy and Stacy. <laughs> There's something else. Um, the Other Way, great. The Journey, all these. This show, God, it creeps me out so bad to watch this stuff, but it's also so intriguing. Um, yeah, I've, yeah, that's my my list. I am about to have a heart attack. Okay, the good doctor is finally back. Please give me my other shows. Oh, I'm waiting on 911 to come back, waiting on this to come back, which means it's coming soon because 911 and, and, and Good Doctor, they follow the same season. These shows went off the air during the strike and all that stuff and they took forever well, before the strike and then I think that pushed it back and I don't really know, but I'm obsessed with these shows. Oh my God, they're so good. It's a good night tonight, baby. We're going to watch The Good Doctor. And there might even be two episodes. Let's see. Oh, my God. There's two episodes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Heart attack. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Also, I'm eating Domino's pizza. Mm. So, open up the blinds or the curtains. I like to just do one in the morning. So, we're going to get to church and then gotta help Amy with some stuff. And then I'm gonna come back and finish cleaning up the bedroom. But I just chopped up some pineapples to bring to church for him. Um, I just get like canned pineapples in pineapple juice. Um, just because it's easier. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> you playing with your little monkey? <laughs> yeah. My mom and my stepdad got him this monkey in Jamaica. <laughs> yeah, they bought that for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get ready and get out of here. <laughs>